Now, external affairs minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar delivered a firm message on India's stance towards Pakistan, declaring that the era of uninterrupted dialogue is over. Jay Shankar said that actions have consequences, alluding to Pakistan-sponsored terrorism and reaffirming New Delhi's position that terror and talks can't go together. My colleague uh, Mohammad Ghazali is also joining me for more details. Uh, but before that, listen in to what uh, Mr. Jay Shankar said. Let me say this. I think the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. And in so far as Jammu and Kashmir is, uh, is concerned, I think 370 is done. What I do want to say is we are not passive. And whether events take a positive or a negative direction, Either way, we will react to it. My colleague Mohammad Ghazali is also joining me. Ghazali, take us through the remarks and its significance at this time. My colleague Ghazali will be joining me shortly. Uh, we're having some issues, uh, but External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar delivered a firm message on India's stance towards Pakistan, declaring that the era of uninterrupted dialogue is over. Jay Shankar said that actions have consequences alluding to Pakistan-sponsored terrorism and reaffirming New Delhi's position that terror and talks can't go together. He said the era of uninterrupted dialogue with Pakistan is over. Actions have consequences. He was addressing a book launch event in Delhi where he made these remarks. Jashankar has hit hard at Pakistan once again. He has been exposing the Pakistan and its terror plots time and again at all the global and Indian platforms so far. As he also spoke on other issues uh, as well in Jammu and Kashmir. He said, uh, so far as Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, Article 370 is done. So the issue is what kind of relationship we can contemplate with Pakistan. That's what uh, Jay Shankar said. My colleague Mohammad Ghazali is also joining me. Ghazali, a strong message has been given by External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar. He has been time and again pointed out how Pakistan and its nefarious plot has been hurting India. See, yeah, this was on the sidelines of a book launch by retired ambassador Rajiv Sikri, where the book uh, title is Strategic Conundrums and Reshaping India's Foreign Policy. On the sidelines of this event, Dr. Jay Shankar spoke about and gave his assessment of every neighbor, neighborhood country, including Pakistan, Afghanistan, China, Bangladesh. And he said that with Pakistan, uh, the, the, the time for talks with terror can't go on. So we are very assertive with that. And this is what he was hinting at, that uh, whenever there is a positive or a negative reaction or a development, then we are also ready for any for a suitable reaction to that. So a hinting uh, to the sort that it all depends upon the neighborhood, uh, neighbor's policy as well, that the, what kind of relations do they want with us, and that will shape our reaction, our behavior, and our diplomatic relations with that neighbor. And he was also asked about, or he touched upon the Bangladesh issue, the crisis in Bangladesh, and he spoke about that neighborhood itself is a big conundrum, it's a big challenge, because these things are not stable, uh, things keep changing, things are dynamic, but the foreign policy of India should be focused on keeping oneself or keeping the country's interest above all that and be very ready and matured enough to take a strategic action when there is a crisis in the neighborhood. He spoke about Maldives, that how there has been relations, uh, has seen ups and downs between the two countries. But public diplomacy is one part which he touched upon, that how developing public projects in Maldives or even uh, assisting or giving monetary aid to our neighborhood, in our neighborhood, has always been beneficial for India. And he cited the example of uh, Sri Lanka, that how it came out of the crisis and the public opinion about India's contribution to Sri Lanka has certainly changed in the island nation.